hey guys it's omashola dev here on another video and in this one i'll be showing you how to run your react native and expo mobile app on your web browser yeah you don't really need to create one app using react for the web and then create another one using react native for mobile devices you can just create one one single code base and it will run on both ios android and also run in your web browser so this one is a very very interesting one all you have to do is just follow along if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and leave a like on this video and share it to your developer friends who will want to build their apps also also check out our community is a safe space where we teach mobile developers and help each other solve our bugs get our opportunities and the rest it will be a very great one for you check it out and so let's dive into the business of today which is running your react native and expo mobile app in the web browser right now we're going to be demonstrating how to do this on expo and how to do this also on react native cli so as you can see here, i have my expo app open and you know this problem of having two code base when you are building just the same app uh, this video is going to solve that problem for you so that you will not need to um, build a, mo a mobile app separate from your web app you can just have one code base it's more easier to maintain much easier to debug much easier for also also for, for cost it's cost cost effective so uh this this pattern it will really really help you to get what you want really really fast and you can just hire only react native developer to build this for you without needing uh another code base another hosting another just just makes things easier so first we're going to start with our expo app and there are some things we just need to do when we come to the expo app so after we run our app let me run this again with npm run start one thing we'll need to install is react native web so i can just do npm i react native web and once that is installed we'll be able to run our expo app on the browser so our expo app here is just a basic app now one thing you should know is that there are certain packages that will not run on the web that will, that will run on the mobile version but will throw an error on the web version so and there are also alternatives for that one of those packages is react native reanimated so when you have reanimated in your project it can throw an error mostly if you're using it in certain places that needs to run on the web i don't know if it's a problem with a version of reanimated but it's something we will have to be cautious about so that we won't run into errors and that's why it's so difficult to just convert a a mobile app into the web a mobile app that wasn't intended for the web so if you want to do this uh automatically you will have to you you have to make that decision right from when you are building your mobile app not after building your mobile app uh, because there are some decisions you need to take um, knowing fully well that you're going to be running this app on the web so if not after building the whole app for just mobile ios and android platforms if you want to change it into um to, to if you want to make it run on the web and you have already built it completely then there might be some issues and a lot of a lot of packages that will, that will be that won't be able to run on the web that you might have to address but if you are if you put this in mind when you're trying to run or when you're trying to build the app then it will be much easier for you so after installing react native web we can simply go to our um where we're running the app and just press the w for open web and it will open our app on the browser now as you can see this is the browser here local host 8081 and we can do it the exact same things we can do on the mobile platform so I also need to allow um, location because of the location service I'm using here so that we can be able to get the user's location as we are using it here. So as you can see, everything works well, just like the way it's working on the mobile device. So now let's do that for React Native CLI app and let's see how to make that work on the web.
so we have our react native cli app now building so yeah this is not it this is still our expo app as we can see here but yeah we're building we just created our react native cli app and we'll be running it here on the mobile device first and then we'll run it on the web so let's wait for it to build completely and then we can proceed from there so our app ran successfully and as we can see it's looking good uh the default react native cli app so let's see how we can open the um browser we can open the app on the browser so if we press the w is anything gonna happen no so how do we do this how do we run our app on the web browser our react native cli app now we've seen how to run it the expo on but what about the cli on so here's how we do it now running a react native cli app on the web browser is not natively supported why because react native cli is built for android and ios platforms but so what can we do about it you know trust me i'm a martial art dev i always have some tricks under my sleeves so let's do it anyways even though it's not supported but let's do it so the way we can do it now is that we can install some packages and i'll tell you these packages first the first one is react dom second one is react native web the third one is react native screens and the fourth one is react native safe area context so we're going to install these packages i'll use npm because i was using npm here and once these packages are installed we can proceed from there okay they are installed now what is the next thing we have to do now the next thing we have to do is to create what we call a web entry file and i'll create a new file and call it index dot web dot js and i'll paste this code in this file and don't worry i'm going to leave this code available for you so you can be able to make it work in your own app as well so after doing this we save this and then we can go on to the next step now the next thing we can do is to add our html template now we need to create a folder called public and And now after creating that folder, inside that folder, we'll create uh, index.html file. And we'll paste just this uh, root HTML code. So I will save that and then proceed to the next step. Now there are three major steps we'll need to take next. I will be able to run our react native seller app in the browser so the first one we'll have to do is to install some packages to be able to set up webpack and babel so the packages we're installing are webpack webpack cli webpack dev server babel loader babel core uh, preset amv preset react and html webpack plugin so once we install this now we can proceed to the next step now that that is installed let's create a babel roc file and it should just be like this And we'll paste this in there i'll leave this also for you and then we can do the next thing and the next thing we'll have to do is to create a webpack.config.js file let's do that and i'll paste this inside there which i'll also leave for you in the comment section or in the video description and we'll save this also the next thing we'll have to do is to go to our package.json file and under the script we'll add the one for our web i will just paste it here webpack serve mode development and once that is done we can then go on to run our web app so let's run it and see how it opens on the browser so we'll do npm run web wish me luck we hope there's no error okay now we find an error that says module not found error can resolve the app now how do we resolve that now to fix this error we'll need to install some 
packages that will enable the web browser which we want to run our app on to and be able to understand that we are using TypeScript. So to do that, we'll install some packages. So the first is TypeScript, TS Loader, Babel Loader, and um, Babel Preset TypeScript, and Babel Preset React. So we'll install this now. So so yeah, we've installed this now, and we're going to do a little bit, a little setup, and then this will start working. Also, I noticed that we already have a babel.config.js file. So we are, we'll delete our .babelrc file, and we'll let our babel.config file have these settings. I'll, I'll also provide this in the description so we'll just let it have these presets and we'll save that and we can proceed from there also we will go now to our webpack.config.js file and we'll add this as test um okay yeah we'll add this so that um we can recognize typescript because we're using typescript for the most of our project so we'll add this and also save and another place that we have to make sure that typescript exists is in the extensions so we'll make sure our extension include .ts files and .tsx files and now our setting is complete and this should work completely but there's also one other thing we need to do i just want this to be a basic ui and not using the react native um, ui that we have here so i'm just going to switch that and have just a simple hello from the web or hello from or match solar dev so this is what we have saved here and let me just set the color to white or red so hello from omar solar dev you can see it here on the um mobile version so now we'll run the web version and let's see how it goes npm run web now once we run npm run web which is let me write it here that's what i ran here let me let me let me put that command again it's npm run web now it runs as you can see it's running here now and it will take us to the browser and we can see hello from omashala dev the same thing which we have on our mobile version so we can see how react native cli is running smoothly in our web and there are no issues there are no errors so yeah this is this is it uh so there's always a trick for something and we just did this to make sure it works even though react native cli is only built for android and ios version but yeah we made it work on the web so um that's it from this video uh please subscribe make sure you subscribe now like subscribe right now as i'm talking if you've not subscribed and leave a like on this video to keep supporting me to make good and interesting content for you like tricks are almost impossible and will make it simple in a way that you can understand it and implement it in your own app thereby making you a better developer so leave a like and subscribe and follow us and uh, you can check me out on linkedin check me out on twitter too and also um subscribe to our community check out our community and it will help you a lot and that's it from this video and thank you very much stay blessed